I came to Minnesota for the NHL Stadium Series, but I'm not here just for that game. I also came to check out the state of hockey. A state with 10,000 lakes, a love for the outdoors, and cold winters is a perfect combination to produce enthusiasm for the sport of hockey on every level. But before I can lace up my own skates, I caught up with a friend and Wild fan to hear his excitement about an NHL outdoor game finally coming to Minnesota. Uh, I've been waiting for it for a long time. Uh, I did go to the, the Gopher outdoor game and that was fun. Um, but there's something about a pro game that, you know, it's the professionals, you know, it's the big boys going at it. And uh, national stage too, you get yeah. to kind of show off the state of hockey to, to the rest of the country. Yeah, and it's, it's cool, you know, you get to show, you know, why we're the state of hockey. Game day had arrived. I made my way to the stadium where I planned on spending a few hours tailgating and mingling with fans before the game. Tailgating for hockey isn't a regular occurrence, but it is definitely fitting for a special event like this. And it did not disappoint. My original plans to spend a few hours tailgating were cut short due to a slight mix up of time. I thought it was at 6. No, Holy crap. Get rolling. Crap. Yeah. It's at 2 30. I thought it was at 6. That's the Denver game next week. Oh, <laughs> Even though my pregame activities were cut short, I still managed to make a few new friends to share a game that we wouldn't soon forget. Yeah. Um, it was fun. I got there a couple hours before game time and just kind of hung out in the stands watching people filter in. You could just kind of feel an excitement in the air. People were ready to, yeah. to have this happen oh, and, yeah. just, and nice. watch a good yeah. hockey game. And it was really cool. Uh, it kind of felt like you in a big snow globe sitting yeah. in that stadium, just, so just cool. a light snow coming down. The NHL did a really good job putting it on. The, the arena, or the stadium, I guess, was gorgeous uh, yeah. the whole time. It just kind of a surreal experience just sharing it with 50,000 people. It's just un unreal. It's just an experience you don't forget. Seeing the game on such a big stage was impressive, but I learned that many locals are used to seeing and playing hockey in their everyday lives. Outside of big events, many play throughout the winter, and it isn't just for the pros or competitive leagues. Hockey is for everyone, from the backyard pickup games to the semi-competitive leagues. With a rink in every park and a league for every level, there was even a chance for me to experience some outdoor hockey. So, I met up with Ben's friend Adam at the Palace Community Center for a chance to play a pickup game. Growing up in Pennsylvania, I never had the opportunity to play the game outdoors, except for street and roller hockey. I had always heard about how popular hockey was in Minnesota, and I never thought my first outdoor game would be here. I can skate forward and backward, but that's about like the, the limit. Oh my god, I get up! <laughs> any balance. I'm sorry to sell him a butt once. Probably many more times to come. As we skated, Adam and I had the chance to talk more about how hockey is a big part of growing up for many in Minnesota. But growing up as a kid, you, you're going to learn how to skate most yeah. likely. Yeah. There's so many opportunities like every neighborhood has an ice ball. Like how some kids go and play baseball or yeah. go and play football, basketball. Like yeah. There's just an ice rink every park. Coming from somebody who loves ice hockey, I would have loved to have grown up in a place where they they love it as much as they love it here. Yeah. 
after warming up, it was time to put my skills to the test. <laughs> we can we can challenge them. You want to do it? Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm a little scared. I'm not gonna lie. They're much better than me. <laughs> I had my first taste of playing outdoor hockey. Even though I lost to kids half my age, I was still excited to lace up and play again the following night. This time, I would be embarrassing myself in a more organized game and against people my own age. After a quick warm up, it was time to pick teams. To do so, we throw our sticks into a pile on the ice, and one person closes their eyes and puts them into two separate piles. Where your stick ends up, well, that is your team. I feel bad, somebody gets stuck with me on their team. <laughs> the pace was definitely much faster than the prior night. As the game went on, I proceeded to run into everyone on both teams, and I became very well acquainted with the ice. Even though I had bruises that would last several weeks, I still wish I had this in my backyard. It was a lot of fun growing up, playing with friends, you know. Get home from school and head to the rink and, you know, mom's <laughs> calling you. you go, I got dinner ready. And, you know, you don't eat till dinner till 9 o'clock at night yeah. sometimes. I mean, you got just a bunch of buddies out there forming a team. Just enjoying, you know, when we're just enjoying the yeah. day. Pretty much every day of the week in the winter, you could go find a pickup game and you'd play five on five, and there'd be, you know, 15, 20 guys standing on the boards, you know, actually like making line changes. The NHL talks about how these outdoor games bring hockey back to its roots, back outdoors. In no state is that more true than Minnesota. It is truly the state of hockey.